Hey, what's going on there everyone? Today we are going to be covering how you can set up your own Bungie Core Network and Server. I know probably majority of you already know the basics of this or how to do this already, but this is mainly for those who are getting ready to start a new network, uh, especially since 1.18 will be coming out very soon from when I'm recording this video. Let me take a quick minute to explain what Bungie Cord actually does and what it is. Essentially, Bungie Cord just connects a whole bunch of other servers together as one giant network. Basically, when players join a server or a network, they'll connect through the Bungie Cord server and they'll be able to play a whole bunch of different game modes, but all connected under one IP address. That is essentially what Bungie Cord does. Alright, so let me go ahead and uh, discuss with you guys some of the pre-setup before we actually get into the configuration. So some of the requirements you must be made aware of is that you do have to have at least three servers of minimum before you start a Bungie Core network. And that applies to any type of service provider. And if you need a Minecraft host that is cheap and reliable, you can totally check out Soulnode. Link for them will be down in the description. And you can use my code STRIKER to save 10% off. So, as I mentioned, the requirement is at least a minimum of two servers. So you need your proxy, which is the bungee cord, and then two other either spigot or paper spigot servers. And the reason for that is because, for example, we have our bungee cord. All it does is connect other servers. It in itself is not a playable server. So you have to have this one, and then you have to have a hub, and then whatever game mode that you want to connect to, through your hub. Uh, typically, most people have four, that way you have your bungee, a hub, and then two game modes, um, but that is up to you whatever type of you know server or network you're trying to run. But a uh, minimum of three is about what you need for this to work properly. Today's video sponsor is the Sangata Marketplace, and if you are looking for any type of unique or custom plugin for your Minecraft server, there is quite a bit of selection over there, so make sure you guys go check them out using the link down in the description and you can find some great plugins for your server. So once you have all your servers and bungee cord, I'm going to be going into the bungee cord uh, configurations and we'll get everything started. Uh, the first thing I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be using a waterfall, which is basically a bungee cord fork. Um, this process is going to be exactly the same if you're using just normal bungee. I actually just prefer waterfall a little bit more, uh, but that is up to you whichever one you want to use. This same process is going to be the same for a travertine as well as flame cord, just additional uh, forks of bungee cord. Velocity is just something completely different. I do have a video if you want to check that out. But let's go ahead and start this up and um, we're going to head and generate our bungee cord server. And this is what it looks like. So that is all good. Everything is loaded up. And as you see, it takes barely any type of RAM and CPU. So it's very, uh, very easy to maintain this. So we're going to be going into our bungee cord config. If you don't know how to get there, just go to your file manager and it's going to be config.yml. This is where bungee cord configuration. And if it doesn't look like this, you should be able to just restart your server and it should generate something along those lines. The first thing that you're going to be changing for recommendations that I do change is this force default to true. This is going to be forcing the player to join it directly to the hub server that you have set up. Next thing is just make sure if your host is running a pterodactyl panel. Uh, this is what it should look like by default, 0.0, .0 and then the port needs to match whatever port of your Minecraft server. You can set up the max players to 100, 1000, whatever the heck that you want to change. Here is the MOTD that players will see on their Minecraft client. I do recommend a plugin called a server list plus and that is going to be easier to manage the MOTD. And here you can leave pretty much everything the same. We'll change the priorities here in a second. But here is the permissions. This is where you're going to be adding permissions for bungee cord plugins. One that I definitely recommend you guys get is something called a server switcher on Spigot. Basically allowing players to just uh, run a slash and then whatever server name. Uh, it's pretty helpful to use and for example here is the permission. All you would do is just here is your default admin groups so you would just do a space a dash and then here is your specific permission, permission node that you would input for the default group. So that is how you add permissions. 
uh, come down over here and this is a must that you need to change change this to true and I will explain that a little bit later these groups right here this is specifically the admin group so you can put your in-game name right there so we can put in a soul striker just like that here is where you can change if you want bungee cord to allow crack players or not so online mode true or false and then the very last thing is going to be adding the servers so here is what you can change so this can be hu lobby hub hub one whatever you want it to be called so this is going to be hub now we need the address of our actual hub server so i'm going to be going to my dashboard and so here it is uh, the ip just going to copy that and we can paste it in right like so then i recommend just copy this the whole uh, hub block for the configuration just uh, uh, enter and make sure you backspace all the way and we can go ahead and enter the second one fancy little thing with the soul node editor it will tell you if something is wrong or uh, in this case there is a duplicate of a name so we can actually change this to skyblock and I'm just gonna add one more because I have another server and make sure you know everything is aligned and we're gonna change this to bed wars and there we go so just be aware of that all these are aligned properly and now we need to change the IP addresses of our skyblock and bed wars so we can get our bed wars IP and here we go we just need to change this bad boy and then our skyblock IP is right there and we can change it like so there we go now you're pretty much done with your configurations one more thing is that you need to set up priorities for these three servers so come up here where it says the priorities list make sure you put whatever name that you want your priorities and they have to match the server name down here so in my case the very first server that we want players to join is going to be my hub server and then if the hub is down we can have players connect to the skyblock so we can put in skyblock and then the last one of course is bed wars so there we go so if one of these servers uh, goes down then players can connect to one of these uh, which is pretty helpful so make sure these names match with whatever you set down here we can go ahead and save that and we can actually restart our server and then we can configure our sub servers now and let's go to our portal page and I want to head and go to our files so we go to the files on our hub server and there's several things that we need to change in here the first one is going to be going to server.properties setting the offline mode and then we need to go into the bucket to change the connection throttle and then we need to go into the spig spigot.yml and set it to allow the bungee cord so we can go to our server.properties first thing that we need to find in our server dot properties is going to be our online mode you need to set this to false in order for bungee cord to connect properly so we can set that to false <clears throat> next we can go into our bucket.yml so make sure we actually save that here and go to our bucket.yml we need to change this connection throttle to negative one basically disabling it because bungee is going to be uh, handling all that make sure we save that so that is in the bucket and then the last one is going to be in our spigot.yml which is right here spigot and then we can find and come down here where it says bungee cord and set this to true so those are the three settings you have to change for all the other backend servers I went ahead and configured the rest of my sub servers to work with bungee cord and then I restarted the bungee cord server itself now I'm going to be using the IP and let's see if we can join properly so perfect, there is our MOTD of our bungee cord waterfall server. Let's go ahead and join and make sure everything is connected properly. Connecting to server, logging in, encrypting, there we go. That is what I like to see. And now we are on our hub server. And this is the hub setup that is provided from Soul Mode. So if you guys want to check that out, you can uh, buy a server on the site and then you can connect uh, with this. This is all pre-set up by default. Uh, but here is our command, which is slash server. And this is what players are going to be using. Or of course, they can use the, the compass, your server selector here. Uh, but we have our hub which we are currently connected to bed wars and skyblock so let's go ahead and join the skyblock and there we go perfect we are on our skyblock server that is looking perfect for us now if we do server and then if we go to bed wars we should be able to connect just fine and perfect there we go 
there is all of our servers all set up for us and uh, we can use them with the slash server command. And just like that, now you have your Bungie Core Network set up. The last thing I want to mention to you guys is a plugin called a Bungie Guard. I'm not going to be showing how to install it in this video because I have a separate one. You can actually check it on the right hand corner of the screen and that is going to be securing your backend servers more uh, proficiently. And then once you do that, everything should be good for your Bungie Core network. Hope you guys did enjoy this video, and again, if you need a Minecraft host, be sure you check out Soulnode. But other than that, have yourselves a beautiful day, leave your questions down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.